Like everything else around us, aviation is changing too, and it does so at a rapid pace. From new ways to power the planes to new and more efficient shapes of airplanes' bodies, the biggest players in the industry are working head-to-head -head with startups to advance their goals. One way the industry plans to evolve is to turn to a blended wing body design. That's a type of aircraft that integrates both wings and body into a seemingly unique design, allowing it to use a larger surface to generate lift. It's an idea that has been tested before, but because of its limitations, including the fact that the plane's shape could prove a nightmare for the evacuation of the occupants in case of an emergency, it never stuck. The first time somebody tried to design a blended wing body was in the 1920s, when something called the Westland Dreadnought came to be. Many decades later, in the 1990s, McDonnell Douglas and NASA created something called the BWB-17. Research into this was also conducted by Airbus and Bombardier. And now a California startup called Jet Zero believes it has what it takes to create the world's first passenger blended wing body aircraft. It doesn't have a proper stage name yet, as far as we can tell it is known internally as the Z5, and the full details on it are not entirely known, but the pieces are slowly falling into place. Jet Zero says it will fly a demonstrator of its BWB as soon as 2027, and last week it gave us a few details on what to expect in terms of the engines powering it and some of the other systems that will be used. As far as the engines are concerned, the company settled on the PW2040 made by Pratt & Whitney. It's the same power plant that powers the Boeing 757 aircraft, including the military C-32A version, and from which the F-117 deployed in the C-17 Globemaster III aircraft is derived. It comes with a power output of between 37,000 and 43,000 pounds of thrust, but we're not told how much it will spit out in the Jet Zero BWB. Another company, Collins Aerospace, has been tasked with making the nacelle structures for the engines, including the inlet, fan cowl, fan duct, fairings, and the engine support structure. The demonstrator plane will be used by the company to validate the key technologies that will go into the final design. When ready to be made, the BWB will be offered in two main variants, namely a jetliner and a freighter. A third application, aerial refueling tanker, is also being considered. As far as the passenger BWB is concerned, we're told it should provide the same capabilities as that of a wide-body aircraft, meaning a capacity of about 250 passengers. Because the engines will be installed on top of the aircraft, it should also be a lot quieter than existing designs. The BWB will be capable of flying on sustainable aviation fuel, but it will also burn about half the amount the comparable planes, meaning conventional tube and wing ones, of today are burning. That's because of its design, which creates less drag, increases the lifting surface area, and provides even load and lift distribution. On top of it all, the entire plane should be lighter than existing planes in the same class. Because of all of these, but also thanks to the fact the BWB could easily use existing airport infrastructure, some of the aviation industry's biggest players have already been drawn to the idea. Delta Airlines, for instance, joined the party back in 2021, looking at ways of how to best commercialize the aircraft. The US Air Force is interested in the technology as well, and back in 2023 it granted Jet Zero an award to help it build its full-scale demonstrator. As a side note, these guys are not the only ones the USAF is looking at in its quest to find a suitable BWB, with a total of $235 million on the military branches table to get to the right solution. It was almost one year ago to the day when Jet Zero announced it had received an airworthiness certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration. The certificate was awarded back then for a scale model of the blended wing prototype called Pathfinder, a rather small machine by comparison with the final design, it only comes with a wingspan of 23 feet. Jet Zero is not the only company presently looking at blended wings as a potential solution for an aviation revolution. The same can be said for a crew called Natilis, which is working on a large variety of cargo drones that have been designed in such a way. It's unclear exactly when these guys will fly their creation for the first time.